Are you interested in stories of action and adventure? If so, I recommend checking out my episode-based book series, The Demon Slayer Psychic on Kindle Vela. The first three episodes are free to read, and new ones drop every single week. That's all I have to say, and now, on to the video. Hello everybody! Did you see anime here today? We are going to be reviewing Sugar Apple Fairy Tale. I'll be honest, I wasn't too sure going into this show. Since it's a shoujo anime thing, I wasn't sure if I'd like it or not since I haven't watched many shoujos in my life. But I will admit, I'm surprised by how much I actually had a really good time with this anime. Like, I had a really good time, but we'll go over that in a bit. But first, we're going to talk about the story summary. So, the way the story starts is our main character, An, is trying to become a... Sugar Artisan or Artisan, I don't remember how it's pronounced, but basically she wants to be like this sugar craftsman. And so she sets out and ends up buying a fairy called Shal, and she tries to aim to become this famous person as a sugar artisan. I think it's an artisan, I'm just gonna say artisan. And that's how the story starts. Their adventures begin as she sets on her goals to become a good craftsman in that sweets business. And yeah. That's a terrible summary, but it's really hard to describe most of the show since a lot of stuff happens. But at the same time, there's a lot of interesting stuff that I want to talk about. But moving on to the spoiler-free thoughts, I enjoy this anime a lot. I had a really good time with it. I went into this not thinking much about it. I thought I'm not going to like it that much. I'll just kind of roll with it because why not? But then I started watching and realized, dang, why am I having such a great time with this show? Like every single episode almost completely flew by. There were some moments where I kind of zoned out a little bit, but those were very rare as most of the time I found myself really invested in what was happening on screen and I wanted to see An achieve her goals, make her own improvements to herself and see her grow, especially with the people around her being surprising, at least to me, with how they go about their way of thinking as well and how the world's kind of against An as she has to deal with all kinds of things from like how most sugar artisans are like only dudes because they can only take the process of making the sugar apple sugar and girls don't really have the strength to pull all that off but she can do it and so she's proving that she can handle things that all the other dudes can and also the fact that she has these moments where she shows that even though she originally would copy her mother she slowly learned to improve her own style as well there's just so many things here that maybe wants to root for on story as her and shall as well as their other friend i think it's like Mithril lid pod or something mithril lid pod or I don't know But they go on this adventure and all these different things happen and I will say well Sometimes the pacing would feel a bit weird which I'll go over to why in the spoiler section if I remember but Overall though the, the story was still very investing and I really enjoyed it And it makes me kind of interesting to see what part two has to offer since part one of this because it's a two-parter It was really fun. I had a great time. I wouldn't say it's perfect but I had a really dang good time. The episodes flew by in the blink of an eye. Before I knew it, I had finished, and I was just like, what? I'm already done? Like, it, it shocked me how fast I'd finished the show. The episodes just flew by in the blink of an eye. I had such a great time. There were so many awesome moments. And while there were some characters that kind of got on my nerves, primarily one in particular, and one I just kind of grew with over time, I still had a lot of fun with this anime. There were so many nice moments that I really enjoyed. And overall, An's development as a character and her slowly improving herself and her connections with Shal is super, super cool. And I just had such a great time seeing them interact and the different type of ideas that they give to each other with their inspiration. Mainly An's inspiration from Shal, but yeah. There is one character that without spoiling, I will say, kind of gives me mixed feelings. And that character is somebody who... An considered a friend back in their village stuff, like how they used to live in a village together, I think. Jonas, who, without going into spoilers, he's a character I am a bit conflicted on because he does a lot of weird stuff in this season that I can go over in the spoiler section, but he does a lot of weird stuff that makes me feel a bit unsure about his character, whether I should like him or I should hate him. It's a bit unclear at times, but Overall, he's an interesting character who goes through a lot of different stuff during this season, and I really like that. But yeah, I can't really talk about much else without hopping into the spoilers, so we're just going to hop into the spoiler section now. Here's a timestamp to when the spoilers end. If you have seen the show, I'd recommend sticking around to hear my thoughts, but if you haven't, you should skip to the end so you don't get spoilers. But yeah, I'm going to cut up for five and enter the spoiler section. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, so in terms of spoilers, 
there's a lot of weird stuff here. Like, for example, I mentioned before that the storyline could be a bit wonky, and that's just due to the fact of the storylines they chose. Similar to the last show I reviewed, in this show, they go through like a three plot basis where each plot goes through the course of a few different episodes. And this one was no different as, first, we travel to the competition that An's competing in, and she ends up getting no wins or anything. She just kind of competes, but sadly can't win because her build, her sugar confection was too small, so they ended up just calling off the whole thing, especially since the one that was supposed to win had actually cheated and stole her previous design. And then we have this whole thing where she tries to build the sugar confection for this lord of some sorts, and nobody seems to be able to pull it off except her because she has to push everything to make it as perfect as possible, and that's a nice storyline, I really like that. And then you have the final storyline, which I will admit has probably just one of my favorite parts of, of how it goes with the ending, although there was also something I didn't like about it, but I'll talk about that in a bit. But basically, the third storyline, it's nice, but it did feel a bit off, because apparently, throughout the course of this 12 episode season, at least this first half of the season, Apparently, over a year has passed the story. After we just followed the first two storylines, apparently over a year has passed, meaning we only followed one storyline post-competition. And to me, that felt a bit weird. Because I was just thinking, wait a minute, we're already back here? I thought we would go on like one more adventure then come back to this next time. What do you mean we're already back here? Like, it surprised me at how fast apparently the whole time had flown by, and I just... It caught me by surprise at how fast things were moving, and I didn't mind it per se. It just surprised me a bit, and... Yeah, but moving on to some other stuff, I want to talk a bit about what I was describing before with Jonas and his character about how I wasn't sure how to feel about him. Basically, in the beginning, he ends up stealing Odd's original work to compete with and present as his own thing. And after he does that, then after it fails on him, he then tries to improve himself by going off and showing what he can do to the Lord I mentioned earlier, where he's just like, I can help this Lord and win and this might be a rivalry between me and on again but then he ends up quitting because he can't take the pressure anymore and after that by the time the end of the story happens he's just kind of meek and helps out on on occasion but doesn't really seem to love or hate her for any other thing she just, he just seems to be conflicted about his feelings in terms of on as a character and that makes me a bit unsure about how to feel about him because i can't tell if i'm supposed to think he's a good character now or if i'm still supposed to hate him like, it definitely made me feel a bit conflicted about how I should feel about his character. I didn't feel much about the other person that traveled with him, Kathy, who's like this one fairy who just is really annoying throughout the whole show. She's just bragging about how much better Jonas is to on, and I'm just like, Lady, will you please shut up? <laughs> like, she got on my nerves a bit, but Jonas as a character left me a bit conflicted, and yeah, it's just about him. As for Shawl, I the traveling companion that goes with An, I'm a bit conflicted about him as well because, well, he doesn't really have enough to work with yet. I enjoy his connection with An throughout the story, but when it comes to his character, we don't really dive that deep into him. He's very much the stoic guy who's just kind of rolling with the punches and enjoys the company of An as he tries to figure out his own feelings and stuff like that. But he was just kind of fine. He didn't really do much for the story or do little. He's just kind of there, but. The last little bit where he ends up giving up his wing in order to help her achieve her goal, but then has to go hang out with this one girl who's just wants to make him a lover, even though he doesn't really want that. He ends up going with her because he has to in order and for the exchange since the girl has his wing and he gave that wing to help on. That part I liked, and I'm hoping that we'll get to see more of Shal and his developments in the next part which is currently airing, I believe. I believe it's currently airing while I'm making this review. But I definitely feel like Shaw is a character that could have been explored more, and I do want to see more of his character and see what he has in store for us. But yeah. Talking about another character, the character I mentioned that also travels with An and Shaw is the character known as Mithril Lidpod, or Pawn, I don't know. I, I don't remember the name exactly, but he's just kind of fun to have on screen, I'll be honest. Like, I thought he would be this annoying side character who would just get on my nerves anytime he did anything. But I actually liked when he was on screen. I think he was a fun character, especially since he was really trying to help out the connection between Shal and An as he helps An realize that she is in fact falling in love with Shal and he's kind of trying to push the romance together. He's like the wingman who's trying to push the two of them together and it's fun to watch him deal with these two and be like, oh man, you guys are just, what the heck? Why are you guys so bad at trying to get your feelings out for one another? Like, dudes, just please, please just, get together already. It's just like, it's funny seeing with a lid pod doing all that. It's, it, it's pretty funny, but yeah, moving on past that for now, 
I want to say something I wasn't too positive about, and that was this one trope they included that is pretty common in most romance, anime, and stuff like that, and I hate that the trope exists, but thankfully, it doesn't last long enough for me to be super annoyed, I'm just annoyed that it was included at all, and that was kind of like the misunderstanding between the characters seeing them with other characters stuff, where Shawl and on see each other with other people and assume oh man maybe they're into those people or something like that and feel a bit conflicted mainly on towards Shal but I'm glad that literally the next episode they resolved that they talked about it I'm glad they did that because if they had kept that going for the entire rest of the season I would have been a bit annoyed but I never have been a big fan of that trope it works sometimes like in the anime gamers I really like that anime and the misunderstandings in that are funny but in, in most cases the fact that it's mainly used to create drama and it's not being used for comedic effect, but actual drama can get on my nerves sometimes. But I'm glad they resolved that quick enough. And we got a pretty solid finale overall, especially with An technically achieving her goal, but ending up losing the person she considered closest to her. And it was really interesting seeing that. And yeah, I just really had a good time with this anime. There were so many moments that, while yes, I mentioned the whole thing with the trope, Overall, this anime was a blast to watch. I zipped through everything, I got through all the stuff, and I don't really have that much negative stuff to say about this anime because I just had a good time, and at the end of the day, even if not everyone will be into it, that's okay because I had a good time. And while I'm not too sure if I like shoujo type stories, since it's only like my second one, I don't know if My Next Life as a Villain counts as a shoujo or not, I think it does, because if that's the case, it's the only other one I've watched, but maybe I should try some more of these because I actually had a really good time, and yeah. That's all I really have to say, so we're at the conclusion of this video, and what are my final thoughts? I really liked it! I had a fun time with this anime, it was a really good anime, I had a good time. Is it for everyone? Probably not! I'm just one of those people who enjoys a fun story from time to time, but that's just me. That's why I give Sugar Apple Fairy Tale a 9 out of 10. Well, there are a few things in it I'm not too big of a fan of, but I did zone out from time to time when characters just weren't doing much. Overall, I had a very good time, and I really enjoyed myself. So much so that I'm really looking forward to checking out part two when it finishes airing. I'm very excited to hop into that, and yeah, that's all I have to say, so thank you all for watching. If you're new to the JGC Anime channel, don't forget to subscribe. I also do anime fans to the channel, and I will see you all around. Peace!